I don't know how open source works in Postgres. So I talked about PG Vector in an earlier video last week, and there's a very high bus factor where the majority of commits are happening from Haikiki. Shout out to Haikiki. I actually looked at the contributions and there's a lot of performance stuff that he had been shipping in the last six months. So shout out to him and all his contributions. But I also posted specifically on LinkedIn as well. And I was like, oh, hey folks, I did a video. And by the way, PG Vector, blah, blah, blah. But Andreas actually pointed out, Ramon pointed this out as well. Contributions on PG Vector are actually not going through a PR. And the way we do this on open source is we actually look at PRs first. Uh, we're not specifically looking at commits by themselves. So if I click through and looked at the specifically all the commits that are happening on PG Vector, you'll see the majority of these commits are all happening from one person, uh, which is Andrew Kane. Uh, Andrew Kane specifically, I don't know if you call this cowboy coding, but there's some YOLO commits on here. Some of the commits are basically updating some documentation and like builds, but then we have issues that are attracted to them. I think what we're actually gonna be doing in the future for open source is identifying these type of commits as well within a repository page. So we do have an internal document right now to identify things like where we're gonna call YOLO commits for now. But I'm curious if you make contributions to your open source project and you might be the only maintainer or maybe small team, do you open a pull request or do you just throw these up on the default branch and hope for the best? All right, stay saucy.